Hi, good evening. My name is Jose Antonio Santillan. I am a biomedical engineering student and I'm here to talk about my professional practices one and two, which were done at No Injertos. And the name of my project was Establishment of a Protocol to Develop New Products. The organization where I worked at is called uh, No Injertos, and my project tutor was Agustin Carrillo Garcia. Well, first of all, uh, the project description, which was uh, talked about before, was uh, basically to gather information in order to accomplish the regulations that are needed in order to validate new products. Um, this is essential because whenever, well, this company makes medical devices and whenever a new product is developed uh, and is related to the health sector, it is important like to have all the correct documentation in order to know which are the components, the processes, um, and any other <coughs> uh, factor involved in the production or manufacturation of this product due to the fact that it uh, works synergically with uh, our body. Um, given so, the, objectives, the main objectives of my project were first one, to develop protocols in order to document new products by following the necessary standards which are asked by institutions such as uh, coffee priest or, uh, in, or meetings that are required in order to certificate the company in, with, for example, ISO standards. Second, of, uh, it, it was necessary to establish an inventory uh, in order to uh, have access, have an easier access to the samples which were in development process. This is because the, the company where I worked at uh, works with many scientists and students who are looking forward to finish their studies and they it is really common that they start new projects and uh, they need to know what they have or have a, like a structured database in order to know which materials or which samples they can work with <clears throat> in order to uh, uh, schedule new experiments or so and last but not least, the elaboration of formats in order to follow up products in processes in order to secure the validation. Well, uh, goals were also explained in the presentation before, so I'm just gonna talk about them quickly. First, to standardize processes to ensure everything is completed. This is a quite uh, recurrent uh, mistake when it comes to validations or audits due to the fact that many times uh, Although uh, processes are accomplished correctly, not all times uh, the correct documentation goes forward with them. And for example, in my company, one of the most important uh, uh, things that needs to be as secured when it comes to documentation is the traceability of information, which means that if a donor, well, uh, Novi Hertos works with uh, calaveric tissue uh, donation. So whenever a new donor comes to the company uh, and we start like making uh, tests in order to secure the quality of the tissue and so, uh, from the very first moment the donor uh, enters the process, uh, he is given a special ID number. So any process or any test that is done to this donor uh, has has, needs to have a special documentation so whenever you want to know which uh, tests have been done to the donor uh, traceability is what ensures the, the fact that you can know uh, all test samples or so that, are, that have been done to the donor also learn to apply norms to the production of medical devices being able to elaborate reports and contain relevant information. I think this goal was quite accomplished, uh, as I'm gonna talk about uh, furthermore. Work with other areas uh, of the company in order to access the traceability of information, uh, which was what I have been talking about, and learn how to implement and manage reliable databases. First of all, as I have already told, the technical specifications are that Cofepris is the most important uh, institution to which the company reports uh, how products are done. 
And also, it is important to say that all employees uh, at Nowin Hertos are count with the certification ISO 9001. Also, other regulations that uh, rule the processes done by the company are ISO 13485, which regulates and talks about how medical devices should be done and the uh, preventive and corrective actions whenever a medical device is manufactured, and the American Association of Tissue Bank Standards. Uh, when I started my work at Loving Hertos, I thought like, the American Association of Tissue Bank Standards were like quite basic because they only talk, uh, well, <clears throat> they center on talking about how to work ethically with a donor and they, they give like the basis on how to work, uh, like being respectful with the donor or so but I found out uh, during my stay at Nolin Hertos it was a very complete uh, series of rules because whenever a specific problem that is not contemplated by the company uh, is faced by it, uh, you can call or contact directly this association and they have like specific protocols on how to act to uh, particular situations. Also, well, my contributions during the project, first of all, were that uh, I, I standardized the processes from scratch, which means, uh, obviously, the company has done uh, certifications and validations of past products, so what I did first was reading the whole binders of information. It was quite a lot of information, but I really learned a lot on processes and on how things are done and uh, in par parallelly uh, I also had the opportunity to visualize in person how processes are done like from the very first moment donors are received how tissue is uh, uh, getting cut like in specific areas or clean rooms I mean it was very complete because as, as my project was to organize all the information and a secure that information is understandable. I had to learn processes like from scratch, from zero, and I think and I think it was very complete because it gave me the opportunity to understand and to learn what is actually being done uh, on what is reported. Uh, this is this is what uh, assured that complete information was organized and delivered. And also, I was able to implement simple but useful tools in order to visualize the flaws in the processes. This was very specific because I was also in charge of managing uh, the correct um, optimization of processes and to do so, I was in charge of making engineering diagrams, which are like diagrams that show how the pro how process is done and they are very complete because they uh, state which machi machine is used, how, for how much time, in which clear room or which area or so. And I think it was very complete because my boss and I were able to find like, specific deficiencies, deficiencies uh, on the process and how uh, a process could be optimized or if two processes could be done at the same time or so and that impacts both uh, economically and uh, it also has positive time consequences because whenever optimization is done, money and time are saved. <clears throat> well, my learning at Novin Hertos was quite uh, amazing because I had the opportunity to learn about documentation, validation, processes, uh, and so and other areas that are not specifically about biomedical engineering because as I was talking with my teacher uh, the field where no injertos develops is more about biotechnology more rather more than biomedical engineering but it was a quite amazing experience because I had the opportunity to expand and to know which area about biomedical engineering I would like to focus my professional development so, <clears throat> um, uh, talking about my learning, I had the opportunity to learn how to secure traceability of information and how it impacts. And I think this is quite uh, 
this was quite uh, noticeable because during my last weeks at Novin Hertos we had an audit and it was like quite satisfactory, personally quite satisfactory to know that what I, what I have been working on for two months that it's not uh, like a, um, a huge amount of time was helpful whenever uh, audits are made or specific code processes like uh, when hiring third parties in order to make uh, marketing uh, marketing studies like to know how is the field uh, how is the Mexican field uh, going on related to medical devices also, uh, my learning was that an effective information organization system makes it easier to have access to any information of a related product, which is quite uh, similar to what I already said. And last but not least, uh, databases are quite helpful as they offer complete profiles of the inputs used or the products generated. I think that uh, a series of fact that my project was much more oriented to uh, validation and documentation. I also had like complementary activities like in laboratory uh, by making databases, uh, quality tests to products. So it was hard like to start a database from scratch, but it was quite helpful because uh, I started like making profiles on on non on, on started but non finished projects or samples that we have so that we could know and be able to know properties or uh, specific dates to work with certain products or so. And my conclusion, my general conclusions about my work at Nomin Hertos were that new methods were proposed to organize information to corroborate that necessary standards were uh, met as well as special requirements. As I had already said, this was successful because when, uh, when audits were done by third parties, everything was okay and fine. And we, it is true that certain documents uh, related to other areas were missing, but when it comes to specific documents on the validation department and design department, everything was okay. Also, protocols were successful since they allowed to visualize efficiencies. I think this one is very general because I was able to visualize uh, the efficiencies when it comes to uh, processes, I mean, where, uh, where due to the fact that optimization in processes could have been done from before, and also I had the opportunity to work with my boss on, develop on developing uh, packages for a specific new product that is coming to, uh, to stores like in two or three months, and it was quite cool because I had the opportunity to apply what I learned about uh, <clears throat> protocols in order to follow and to apply them on specific medical pa packages for medical devices. And also by having updated manuals, optimal processes and good documentation practices, a company can position itself competitively both nationally and global through certifications such as ISO. This was very important because I never had the idea that here in Mexico uh, first world products such as the ones manufactured by Novin Hertos were done because they are uh, as I heard from other people in the biomedical engineering area or by other people in the medical devices area Novin Hertos has the best quality when it comes to certain products that they sell and almost all of them I was quite uh, amazed when I found out they also sell to countries such as Korea, Japan, China, Peru, and so on, because that means their products they do uh, or they manufacture have the specific and the needed standards in order to be exported to first world countries. Well, this has been all. Thank you for your attention.